Hello everyone, my name is Orgelina, I'm a vocal coach. Today I want to tell you all about what an artistic coach does. By the way, if you want to learn to set your singing goals in a way that will really accelerate your singing dreams, go to the description below because I have a free resource for you. I just became certified as an artistic coach. I've been studying this for a little while, but I didn't want to talk about it until I actually got the certificate. So it's everything legal now. So this was a certification done by the ICF, the International Coaching Federation, and it was oriented to people that were already vocal coaches. It's really important to distinguish them. A vocal coach will guide you on how to achieve the voice you want and the style you want and the repertoire you want and all things singing related is more instruction based. An artistic coach will help you with pretty much anything you want related to your artistic goals, but not specifically with your vocal technique or your singing repertoire. You are not going to be told what to do. And that is a big difference. As a vocal coach, I will guide you. I will tell you what exercises are good for you. And we are going to plan a routine together. And I'm going to be pushing you to practice. But an artistic coach is different. The difference is that as an artistic coach, I will guide you to find the answers within yourself. The certification was guided by ontological coaches, actually. Really interesting thing about ontological coaching is that, as I said, they don't tell you what to do. So basically you come with something you want to resolve and the coach through questions, open questions, will help you find the answers within yourself. It sounds a little bit too open, but it's really not because the thing is that a lot of the answers that you need are already within you, but they are really hard to see from yourself. So it's always really useful to have someone from outside that can see what is happening and that can guide you to find those answers. Otherwise, you would be lost in thinking and you wouldn't find them. A coach can guide you to help you find what beliefs are driving your actions and your choices. And an artistic coach can also help you change the beliefs you need to change the actions that you might not be able to change otherwise. I believe anyone will benefit from ontological coaching, but in this specific field of uh, artistic coaching, you can benefit from it if you, for example, are preparing for a show, if you are preparing for a tour, if you are preparing for an audition, or if you have some specific goals as a singer in your career and you don't really know how to get there. So a coach will help you prepare a plan of action. And this word action is very important in the world of coaching. That we believe is what moves you forward, of course, towards whatever you want to achieve. But it's not as easy as to just do it. As you know, we do procrastinate and sometimes we do actions that give us the wrong results. So an artistic coach will help you find clarity, will keep you accountable and will make it much easier for you to achieve your goals and also to find the goals that align with your purpose. Because sometimes that is what happens with artists. You have a purpose that you are not too clear about, but the goals that you set have nothing to do with them and let alone your actions. So there is a misalignment between them and then you end up frustrated and wasting your time. Now, how the sessions work, as I said before, it's not about the coach telling you what to do, although the coach will challenge you, will challenge you to take action, will challenge you to have a commitment with yourself and of course with your coach on when are you gonna take those actions. So it becomes specific. Of course, as I said before, actions are what drive your results, but of course, those actions are driven by your mind and that's where you get the most help. So in a session, you basically arrive, they can be done online or in person, and you present what you want to work on. The coach is going to be asking you sometimes open questions and sometimes not so open. They are also going to offer you dynamics. For example, they can offer you dynamics to find what is your purpose and to find what are your values, because sometimes your goals don't really align with your values and that's also where the problem is. It sounds too abstract, but you are working with that whether you are aware of it or not. So we might as well be aware and everything will be better. The coaching sessions usually have a period of time. So you usually don't just come for a one session, although you could, but there is a process of a set period of time, let's say three months, and you have a specific goal that you want to achieve in those three months. So usually you meet through weekly sessions and you create an action plan together with the coach. After each session, you have a specific commitment on an action that you're going to take for the next session. And the magic of this process of coaching is that it really trains you, the artist, 
to take responsibility, which I think it's invaluable. That is where artists usually fail because they fail on taking action. It's very easy to get caught in the insecurities and in the what if and in the people that told you you weren't good enough all the responsibilities that we might have because of course we have to pay the bills. So it really is about making a commitment. Now, when to get an artistic coach? You can have an artistic coach at any step of the way. It's always gonna be beneficial to have someone that is trained to actively listen to you, not only to what you say, but also what you not say and also the way you move to read all the nonverbal clues that you are given. But I do think it is um, extremely useful when you are stuck in your career or in your hobby journey because singing as a hobby, it can get quite serious too. It is also very useful to use an artistic coach when you are feeling insecure about your singing. For example, if you are preparing something that is out of your comfort zone, it's really good to have a coach that can guide you in that process because you are going to be dealing with a lot of feelings and emotions that are not so encouraging and you are going to be tempted to quit, to procrastinate and that is not going to be too much fun. So that is um, my introduction to what an artistic coach does. I am really happy to finally be certified. It has been a great process to train for this certification. I'll be posting more videos about the mindset of an artist and a singer. And of course, you're always welcome to have sessions with me. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next one.